when Rod was, uh, was announced as the Sam Snead Award winner and, and he got back to me a couple, about a week or so afterwards, he said, Charlie, I, I hate to tell you this, but I can't be there on the 14th. And I was, of course, disappointed. Uh, uh, you think about what Rod has done uh, as a professional and as a PGA member, uh, four years on the Board of Control, four years as an executive committee member, uh, about 10 years serving on various committees, three years as section president, two years as a member of the first T board. Um, you think, boy, this guy has given so much of his time and so much of his energy and so much of, of himself to making golf and making, making the game better. And here we are with a chance to honor him and he's not gonna be there. And then I started to think, well, that's Rod Loesch. For Rod Loesch, the priorities are always family, job, and then all the other things, association, game, uh, teaching, whatever it might be. His, his first priority was always to take care of somebody else. And in this case, he had promised his wife, Lynn, who was off from school this week, uh, that she'd have, they'd spend three or four days uh, down in North Carolina looking at some property. Uh, and in spite of some people's attempts to try and change that, uh, Rod felt like, no, this, is, this was my priority and uh, to take care of, of what I've promised to Lynn. She's given up so much time uh, away with me and time when he was away. So uh, as I started to think more and more about it, I said, well, this is the perfect introduction of Rod Loesch, that he's not here, that he's doing something else. He's doing it for somebody else. He's not doing it for himself. I can tell you Rod wishes he were here today, but that was the commitment he made. And it's the same commitment he made when he went to serve on the board for the section, moving up through all the offices, same commitment he made when he went to Ohio State as a player, came out, became an assistant professional, won the Dodge Open, and then took a job at Connecticut Golf Club and said, you know, my, my priority is to my job, it's not to playing golf. He still played for a while, and then as time went on, he started to play less and less, and put himself into so many other pursuits. It's the same commitment he made to the PGA of America when he went on the board, first of all, to fill out Jimmy O'Mara's term, and then to take on a term of his own. It's the same commitment he, went, he made when he went on the board of control. And the board of control, as Tom Henderson can tell you, is, is probably one of the most thankless opportunities that you can have serving the PGA of America because you spend probably eight days a year doing nothing but reviewing appeals and cases of, of dire situations the PGA members get into, and nobody knows you're doing it. You're going off on your own, you're, you're spending time looking at, uh, at various reports and, and uh, paperwork. Uh, there's no, you're not at the Ryder Cup with a, with a jacket that everybody sees you on TV. You're not at the PGA Championship surrounding the 18th green. Uh, you're in a room someplace doing nothing but worrying about other people. So that is Rod Loesch. And it is Rod Loesch that he's not here today. But I, I think when you think about what the Sam Snead Award was and what it is, it's a way that we as an association have celebrated the contributions of golf professionals and non-golf professionals. Think of this, it's the only award that we present to amateurs. And we've had so many great winners and, and very sorry that Lowell Shulman, one of our Longtime winners is not here today. It's one of the first times he's missed. But people who have made contributions to the game of golf, the Mets section, and the PGA of America. And when you think about that, how can you deny that Rod Loesch is one of the best winners and most, one of the most deserving winners we've ever had? Rod Loesch, just to give you an example, used to drive from Easton, Connecticut, down to Mamaroneck once a year in the wintertime to teach an adult education class. And I asked Rod at one point, Rod, why, why do you do that? You're spending two hours on the road to spend an hour and a half with an adult education class once a week. He said, well, Charlie, they needed somebody to do it. 
and that was Rod Loesch. He wanted to teach golf. This was a group that wanted to learn golf, and he was there. So I, I'm very disappointed he's not here today because I think it's something that uh, would have given him a chance to, uh, to be celebrated. Instead, we have a video where well, he'll, he'll have a chance to say thank you, but uh, there's nothing that, that I like better than to be able to introduce champions of golf and to me, Rod Loesch is a champion of golf, and uh, I hope you all will join me in, in giving him a, a round of applause, acknowledging all his service to the PGA, the Met section, to the game. Thank you, Rod Loesch. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I regret that I can't be there today. Uh, I'd much rather be talking to you in person versus doing this video, but it affords me the opportunity to say thank you for the, to the committee and for everyone in this room to honor me in such a way that I would get the Sam Snead Award. Uh, it's an honor and it's a privilege and more importantly I look back at this and look at the past winners. Those are the likes of Bob Joyce, William A. Mitchell, Joe Moresco, Gene Boric, Gilman Galley, Jim Albus, Mike Hebron, to name a few of our golf professionals and more importantly, to be recognized in the same vein as Lowell Shulman and Dave Catalano and Phil Lascaway for all their contributions to the game of golf. It's a humbling experience and I'm ever so grateful for uh, this opportunity to speak to you, let alone to, again, thank you for the Sam Snead Award winner. Before I get too far, um, I'd like to congratulate Daryl Kessner and Grant Sturgeon for their awards. I wish I could be here to, again today with them, but unfortunately uh, I'm elsewhere and um, I do want to say thank you and congratulations to them. Um, one of the other things is before I get too far would be I'd like to say thank you to the following people. The awards committee, obviously, for all the work that they do. I'd like to thank Charlie. Charlie and I have been through a lot, uh, especially when I went to run for office he and I were joined at the hip, and uh, it was just a special relationship that we had. His counsel, his guidance, his calming influence, but more importantly, his leadership and mentorship to me going through the process. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out, but uh, I think for myself, to Charlie, thank you very much. I appreciate everything you do for the section, and more importantly, I appreciate your friendship to myself. To the Connecticut Golf Club. I've been very fortunate to work for a club. It's a fairly quiet place, but they've afforded me the opportunity to serve in all capacities within the game of golf. Without their support, without their uh, recognition of what I can do, I would not have been able to do anything that I've been able to do in the last several years, and in essence, my lifetime here in the Met section. They have been great great supporters of me and it's been a great facility in which to work from. And last but not least, uh, obviously my family, my wife, my kids, Todd and Meredith, they've uh, had the opportunity to see me do a lot of different things, but obviously with anything like this we always have the, the undubious distinction of not being home as much. But they have supported me and uh, I appreciate that uh, immensely. And so I wish my wife was here, but uh, obviously she's not. But uh, again, thank you to them and all the support. One of the things that uh, I'd like to expand upon is, is literally that I've had this great opportunity to serve not only the game, the section, as well as the national office, but that opportunity came through a very special invite. And that invite was many, many years ago, but came from Jerry Coates, then president of the section. He was good friends with Roy Pace, who I was working for, and he came up to me one day and asked me if I would like to serve on a committee. And I said, I'd be happy to. And from that day forward, uh, I think people have seen things that maybe I don't even see in myself, but uh, I've had the great opportunity to do many, many things as listed by the bio that you have before you. Um, I've kind of done all the things in the section, all the way up to president. I was really lucky enough to be on the board of control, which to me was one of the outstanding privileges of being part of uh, this game of golf, as well as the PJ body, because it was, it's literally 
four years of learning what members have to deal with from struggles, whether it's their business, through catastrophes, through illness, through even today, you know, kind of thing we talked about, code of ethics violations that we talked about last week. Um, but we've always had to make decisions. Those decisions were based on making sure that the member was always treated correctly. So that was a great experience, and that experience led me to, to then run for, and you guys elected me, district director. And that was a wonderful experience for more than many reasons. Traveled internationally. I got to work closely with the national officers, uh, been part of many decisions. And again, all in the hope that we could make the game better and you, the members, better. So it's, a, it's a been a long journey, it's been a very great journey, and I was thinking the other day when I was sitting there, and, and actually we were about ready to do a conference call subject to the membership, or to the um, um, awards committee, that I was gonna feel, have this empty feeling. I've been involved for so long, and all of a sudden this year, there's like nothing that I'm going to be doing. Um, they've changed officers, I've changed roles, and, and I do look at that as a changing of the guard, so to speak, but it, it, it did hurt in the sense that I wanted to be part of all this because that's where I learned everything and become involved with uh, international, national, and local things. So as I approach the next few years, um, I really took this award and, and said, it really touched me because all of a sudden it said, no, my, my body of work has been very important and maybe more important than I ever thought it was going to be. And now that uh, we move on to the future, I look for more things to do. I'm currently uh, looking forward to working with the junior golfers uh, in our school systems as well as the golf team. But more importantly, I look to all of you and say, look for something to do within the section. To the officers of the section, the board members, reach out to somebody like Jerry Coach did to me. And that one little invitation l took my whole life and my whole game, my whole career onto a different track and something that I, again, never expected to do but was fortunate enough to be a part of because of that one single invitation to be involved. So again, with everybody in this room, get involved. You will be very, very grateful. And as we always say, you'll get more out of it than you'll ever put in. So I'm sorry I'm not there today, but I really appreciate the honor and I hope I live up to, to everything that was given me. Thank you.